Hello everybody, welcome to Elite Wine TV. I am your host Mark Fusco here for another episode of the show. And uh, to continue the Italian theme, we are going to do the 2005 Mascarelli uh, Montepulciano d'Abruzzo. Uh, this is from the Montepulciano d'Abruzzo uh, DOC in Italy and uh, $9.95 at Specs. Get a little bit closer to the camera. Anyway, um, nine ninety five from Specs, our newest wine retailer here in San Antonio. Those of you that live in Houston are very familiar with the Specs brand. Uh, they've been there for quite a while. I know that I remember them from my years of living in Houston, in H Town, as I used to refer to it. Um, so, if you've been watching Sommelier School. Then you'll know that this is another DOC that was mentioned, um, where I just kind of briefly talked about it. So uh, in this case, uh, Montepulciano is the varietal, whereas Vino de Noble, Vino Noble di Montepulciano is not the varietal, is because it comes from this town of Montepulciano, and they're using that Sangiovese clone, uh, Pugliano Gentile. I think I got it right. I think I remember it. All right, so let's check it out. Let's see how it is. Okay, right off the bat, the nose was way more interesting than that uh, that uh, Verdicchio that uh, we did Friday. I'm getting that kind of dusty uh, case. Yeah, I, I'm just gonna use it all as an accordion case. Not really, it's not it's not really an accordion case, but like a, you know, something that's been kept in like a, a felt lined case is kind of dusty, like an accordion. Um, but other things, you know, there's other things that there that this you know cameras like old school camera cases. Um, so maybe a little bit of leather in there. You have these old binoculars that came like in like a not le I don't know if it was truly leather, but a case if you smell it similar to that. So a little musty. Not much of the fruit action, um, but but it's there. Darker fruits. Again, I didn't really look up the winery to see if there was anything special about them, um, and there's nothing on the back at all. So no 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 uh, marketing BS to tell you how great the wine is. Yeah, you know, let's, let's check it out. Let's taste it and see how it is. Got some decent tannins. The the dusty felt wine case. Flavor is still there, uh, so earthiness, a little mustiness. Um, I can definitely see this pairing with some good food because this is not a wine, I mean, it's really dry. This is not a wine you're going to sit out on the porch and drink. Um, this you need food with. You need something that's got some fat to it, um, uh, something to it that, I mean, some good cheeses. I can see this pairing, up, pairing well with some cheeses. I mean, my initial reaction, it wasn't really that good, but as I'm drinking it, I mean, the, that dryness stays with you for a while. Um, I'm getting those subtle hints of fruit. You know, I'm, I'm thinking like really dark cherry but it but it's it's really really muted um but like dark dark cherry like black cherry um with with that earthiness it, it's improving as i'm tasting it which which is great because i remember there was a wine i tasted a long time ago that was the um the start of the price is right horns that got worse over time and like an hour later i drank it during lunch and it was horrible yeah, I'm really liking I'm really digging this wine. I 
I'm going to say, um, I'm going to give it an 88. Not quite an 89. I thought about an 89. 88. Um, I say get it. I say buy, buy this wine. Pair it up with some, uh, you definitely could pair it up with some, uh, some red sauce pastas. Uh, put it with some cheeses. <coughs> um, some sausage. Uh, I, I don't know about steak necessarily. I mean, you could put it with steak. Um, but uh, I think I think it would work well with some red sauces, some sausages, um, things like that. More gamey uh, type of meats. Maybe some venison. Might be kind of an interesting pair up with that. Um, I don't think really beef, but it, it could work. Anyway, um, so hope everyone had a great weekend. Uh, my Vikings should be by now. <clears throat> let's see, what were they at? Nine and one should be ten and one. Right? No. Yeah? Yeah, 10 1. Because, yeah, because, right, I'm trying to remember all these records. <clears throat> so, hopefully, my, my boys, uh, the Vikings, have, have uh, excelled. And hopefully, the Spurs are now uh, on an upward swing on their wins because I know they've won the past couple games. Let's keep that trend going up. As always, tweet me. Hook me up on Twitter, uh, Facebook. Uh, there, I'm also on a bunch of other social networking sites, uh, the Wine Consortium. I've been getting some uh, friend requests there. Um, yeah, I think I have a link somewhere, like a thing with a uh, member of the Wine Consortium, blah, 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 um, the Wine Whore Network, and all those other places. So uh, check those out. Friend me up at all those places. Um, tell, your, tell your friends about it. Watch the podcast. Uh, hopefully soon it'll be iPhone compatible. Um, and then um, let's see what else. Make sure you watch that episode again of uh, Sharing Wines with New Friends. Audio is fixed. I'm trying to really push that because if, I, if you don't, if I don't talk about it after I put the new stuff up there, you'll never see it again. Um, Sommelier school, all the good stuff, and uh, we'll see everybody again next time. Thanks for stopping by. Guess the song. <laughs> <laughs>